Hi, Danny. Welcome to the Stuff to Know. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's really great to sit down and chat with you. I wish we could do this in person, but I guess Zoom is the way of things now. This is the way things need to get done. So let's start off with you filling everybody in on who you are. Um, yeah, so my name is Danny Cooperman and I'm a mixed media artist. In my past life, I was an art director. I worked in um, advertising for 12 years and that kind of led to my transition here. Um, I was creating, um, I was on the creative side of commercials um, and uh, creating some really fabulous things. And it was a great mix of business and creativity. But I still found at the end of like a really crazy long work week, I still had this urge to create. And I felt very connected to street artists and writers who had that same compelling need to, like that urge to create. And a lot of the time, street artists are doing so illegally. And um, they just have a message that they need to get out there. And I felt like I had that same, um, that same need to, to create something and share something. Um, so I had always been that person who painted and created. And I began experimentation, which started with photography, some photographs I'd taken of urban spaces, um, some graffiti work that I did myself in Photoshop that I created on a tablet. Um, and I printed it on a sheet of plexiglass, similar to this, in black and white, and added layers and layers and layers of acrylic paint to the back of it to bring the piece to life. And, you know, with a light panel behind it, you can see the pieces really just changed and the light filtering through created a whole new work. So all of a sudden I had this whole new expression and um, after doing a bunch of gallery shows, on the side of my advertising work, I became a full-time artist and I haven't, um, I was able to, uh, to invert my passion and my career, which is really just a fabulous gift that I've been able to, to uh, go through. It's incredible. Your artwork is incredible and the colors are so vibrant and blend well together. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the pieces? Uh, are there stories within them? How do you bring everything together, all the elements? Yeah, so there's a lot of stories in it. So I start with a photograph that has no graffiti in it. So it's a very clean black and white image of an urban landscape that has a lot of texture and a lot of, you know, crumbling stucco um, or some rusty metal, but no street art. And when I take the photograph, I take really comprehensive notes of everything happening around me. So if there's people walking by or there's the smell of a bakery in the distance, all of that comes into, like, comes, go into my notes. Then when I'm back in my studio, I use a drawing tablet. I can show you, actually. So I use my drawing tablet, uh, which connects to my, um, to my laptop. And in Photoshop, create graffiti by hand. And those elements are, um, get, um, I blend it into the initial photograph as if they were there in the initial, you know, in the initial shot. Um, and that inspiration, again, for the pieces comes from like the original moment. So all those little elements tie in and I create almost like a treasure trove of imagery within the photograph. Um, there's always little funny humorous moments built into it. There could be a Waldo poking his head out or uh, a funny saying that came to mind based on, you know, a conversation that I overheard. Um, and all that hopefully gives people you know, a million things to look at so that every time you look at the piece, you find and fall in love with a new part of it. Fantastic. Before you give us a little tour of what's going on behind you, because there's just so many interesting <laughs> elements happening, I'd love to hear what you're working on now. What is your project right, happening now? Uh, there's a bunch of things I've been working on. Some of it's been going on for a long time. Some of it's sort of newer. Um, the newer stuff is I released um, a series of graffiti-based coloring pages recently. And these are all on my website, um, all free to download. And both adults and children have been coloring them, posting them you know, on Instagram and on their windows. And the objective is to say thank you to frontline workers, as well as just to spread some love and kindness you know, to your neighbors and friends. So that's like the new stuff. And that obviously wasn't planned because none of this was planned. Um, the second thing I'm doing um, behind me, I'll actually show you, these are some, these are some fine art light um, edition prints. So these prints are printed on a metallic paper 
and they're based off of photographs of my original paintings. So they're um, printed on metallic paper and framed within a frameless system of plexiglass and aluminum subframe. Um, that's a piece called uh, Carbon All These DMs, and this is a piece called Forever in a Day. Um, and the other thing that is brand new that I'm actually just about to release is this behind me. Um, this is a light box edition. So based off of an original painting, a photo of an original painting, um, this piece is uh, created on um, this really interesting translucent photo paper and it's backed by a light panel similar to my original paintings, which is really crazy um, that the technology exists to really recreate them. This is a little tiny test print and the larger one, um, my first larger one will be coming into the studio very shortly at which point I'll be releasing them. Um, but that's my sort of newest endeavor and I'm really excited about it. It's been a really long time in the making. That looks absolutely incredible. So one last thing before we go. So size wise for your picture. So this is a recreation in the, sha in the shadow box. Is there like a smallest to biggest that you tend to sort of work with? Well, my paintings are all very large. So um, I started off doing tiny little pieces, you know, years and years ago. And as I work, I want to create more and more details within the piece. So my, the size have just grown over time. The largest piece I've done is eight feet by six feet. And it, it took me like five, six months. It was very intensive. It was huge. Um, the recreations of my, the edition prints are actually to scale from the original size. So this little test guy back here is a little mini sample. The full size will be, um, I believe it's 70, 72 inches by 40 inches, which is quite large. Um, and the original, uh, it'll be um, in that larger size. All incredible. So if someone wants to get in touch with you and find out how to purchase your reprints, how to commission you uh, for a, a personal piece, do you do commissions as well? I do, I do. Um, so I work um, similar to the way I create different um, messaging throughout the graffiti, I, I blend in. When I work with corporations or even with families, I tie in their history, their ethos, their background, um, you know, important moments of time that they want to capture. And those elements are tied into the photograph as if they were there. And again, it's not, you know, someone left skiing, it's not gonna be a little ski bunny in the image. It's gonna be something a lot, with a lot more depth to it. There's a story behind every element. And again, it's something very personal. So if someone could choose to share with that, the meaning is behind it, but the objective is for the viewer to, you know, to really connect in their own way and, and, and create their own storyline. So many different angles, so many things to talk about. It is so fantastic. Uh, very impressive. So where's, what's the best way for people to find you and uh, get in touch with you? So Instagram is great. Um, my Instagram is Danny Cooperman, D-A-N-I-C-O-O-P-E-R-M-A-N. And my website is dannycooperman.com. You can find me at those places and, um, or drop me a line. I'd love to chat and, uh, and talk to you guys. Fantastic. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It was very interesting talking to you and hearing all about your artwork and have a great day. Thank you so much, Andy. It was a really great chat with you. Um, thanks for taking time with me today. Bye. My pleasure. <laughs> Bye.